We may feel sometimes that our prayers go unanswered. There's a scene in heaven where there's silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And sometimes it seems like a very long time, if ever, that God will answer our prayers. And the martyrs under the throne are saying, Lord, how long? And sometimes we feel that way. But I think of the scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul reminds the Christians, judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes. Some years ago, I was privileged to teach the Word of God in Ireland, and the Lord blessed and a young man was saved. I was back a year later, and he had arranged for me to speak in the local private school, Portora Boys School, which is a prestigious school in Enniskillen in the north of Ireland. And after that opportunity, uh, the girls' school heard about it. They invited me to speak there. And then the public school asked me to come. And then a nearby town invited me to come. At least the art teacher invited me to come. Well, it was a very different environment. The students were quite hostile, and uh, it was a difficult time. But at the end of the session, a young man came up to me and introduced himself. And he told me that uh, he had been saved about 19 months before. And he said, since I got saved, 23 members of my family have been saved. Well, I was rejoicing with him and I asked him his name and he said his name was David Taggart. And I said, you wouldn't have to have had a great uncle Harry, would you? He said, I never heard of him. But a few nights later, I was speaking at a hotel in Enniskillen and David came along and on a table napkin was a crudely drawn family tree and way over here off by the edge was great uncle Harry. Well I said now if this is the same family let me tell you the other side of the story. Harry Taggart as a young man trusted the Lord in Northern Ireland. He was rejected by his family. He moved to America, got a job in Detroit, and in his senior years, he retired to Grand Rapids, where I lived, and often attended the midweek prayer meeting at our local church. And Mr. Taggart would get up to pray for his family back in Ireland. And I don't know that he ever ended a prayer. He would break down weeping, thinking about his family. He had written to them many times, and they had returned the mail unopened. He had actually gone to Ireland, and they would refuse to answer the door. Now this was about three months after Harry Taggart had gone to heaven. I brought that uh, little crude uh, family tree home and I showed it to Harry's widow. And she looked at that little drawing and she said, that's the family. And you just think of this, this man faithfully since I think he was 18 years of age and in well into his 80s every day crying out to God to save his family. And he went to heaven without knowing the answer to his prayer. But I had the privilege of being able to tell his widow how I had met David and how he explained to me that all those prayers had landed on his head one day. And not only he, but 23 members of his family had put their trust in Christ. This is the message of God to our hearts. Judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes. It's not time that will tell, it's eternity that will tell. And we will discover then many answers to prayers. We had no idea that God had been working behind the scenes. And in that day, God will be vindicated. God is faithful. And so we lay hold of this hope and we recognize God loves our family, our friends, more than we do. He has more invested in them than we do. And we need to trust him to carry on his work, our part to intercede on their behalf, his part to work in their hearts and bring them to the point where they understand and respond in faith to the glorious gospel. We're going to get a lot of happy surprises in heaven when we see what God has wrought and we'll bow and worship him and say, Lord, you have done all things well.